Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's very nice, praise God. Let's start on 12 so we can you know, get the gist of this verse. 12 to 14. This is a very nice verse. One of my favorite verse. One of my... I always, you know, every time I open my Bible, it goes here. I don't know why. I tell you the truth. <clears throat> Anyone who has faith in me will do what I have been doing. And he will do even greater things than this because I'm going to the Father. And I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Son may bring glory to the Father. If your prayers are answered, it brings glory to the Father. Amen. Amen. Come on, give Him praise. When your prayers are answered, they manifest in your life. It brings glory to God. Hindi nabawasan ang wealth ng Lord. It brings Him glory. On the other hand, the wealth of God was not reduced. In fact, you bring glory to God when you allow Him to bless you. Can you see how good God is? Amen. When you allow Him to bless you, He's glorified. He's glorified. And I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Son may bring glory to the Father. You may ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. You ask anything in the name of Jesus. So we can pray to the Father and we can pray to Jesus. Both are valid in heaven. Don't be confused on that. Okay, both are valid in heaven. Are we getting this? Amen. Okay, now. Go to... John chapter 16, verse 23 and 24. In that day you will no longer ask me anything, I tell you the truth. My Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. What does the word whatever means? What does it cover? Anything. All. All. Anything. Amen. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? No. Oh, wala na ako pag -asa. I have no hope. I'm 30 years old. I cannot, you know, I don't have a boyfriend. I cannot marry anymore. <laughs> Is it so? Who told you that? Who told you that? Even if you're 50. Amen. Or 60. <laughs> or 70. Praise God. <laughs> if you still want to get married, you will get. God can provide. <laughs> According to His Word. Amen. I tell you the truth. My Father will give you whatever. Amen. Don't lose hope, girls. There's so many boys around. But ask the Father for the right person. Amen. And then believe and receive. You memorize this verse and tell it to God. Lord, you said in your word, whatsoever shall I ask you, you're going to give it unto me in the name of Jesus. So, Father, I ask you, give me a good husband with a good salary. Don't ask for a poor husband. He'll be a problem. Praise God. Father, give me a good husband. Rich and handsome? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ladies. Nothing is impossible. <laughs> it should be your song. And it should be your verse. Yeah. It's impossible, Nothing is impossible. Who wants to get married? Oh, okay, nah. Oh. You know what I mean? Can you tell me something about it? 
Napainom si Kevin. Sabi ni Bibang. There's nothing wrong naman if she got a partner. Now the reason why the partner is not coming, somebody's, you know, kumukontra. Amen. Somebody's kumukontra. You must agree with your mama. In prayer, okay mama, let's pray together. Let's pray for your husband. Whatever you agree. I'm asking anything here on earth. I'm going to pray the Father in heaven. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as the guy is a Christian. Amen. Amen. So this this is your verse. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> it covers everything. So I just want you to see this verse, and I want you to memorize this verse, so that whatever is your need, not only a husband or a boyfriend, no. Whatever is your need. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I tell you the truth, my Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. Until now, you have not asked Jesus for anything. Some Christians are not asking from God. Until now, you're not asking for anything in my name. Ask, and you will receive. Amen. And your joy, praise God, will be complete. Amen. When you ask, you receive, you'll be happy. Amen. Don't be shy, sa Panginoon, na you're asking for something. Now. Maybe it's too big or, you know. No, maybe, Lord, it's too difficult. Nothing is difficult. Sometimes maybe you are intimidated now you're asking for something na, Lord, I think it's too big, it's too difficult na I'm, I'll be asking this from you, this is the reason why I'm not asking. No, you ask. Those who ask, they receive. Amen. Amen. Those who seek, they will find. Amen. Those who knock, the door will be open. The door of heaven will be open. Amen. When you knock, when you seek, when you ask, these are holy scriptures. Holy scriptures are highly honored by the people in those days when they say, it's a scripture. It's a holy scripture. Even the devil, Satan, quoted the scripture to Jesus. And Jesus answered using the scripture also. Amen. During the temptation of Jesus. It is written. The devil says, it is written. Jesus says also, it is written also. It is written. Jesus says, it is written also. So they're, both of them, Jesus and the devil, are quoting the scriptures. Why? When it is written, praise God, heaven and earth will pass away, but the word of God will never pass away. Yeah. Come on. Heaven and earth will pass away, Jesus says, but praise God, my words, my words, my promises, they will never, ever pass away. Yeah. All the promises of God are yes and amen. God doesn't want you wanting or lacking anything. Amen. He doesn't want you lacking anything. He wants you to be fully supplied, fully fulfilled, fully happy. This is what God wants. I came to give you life and that you might have it more. Abundant. Our lives should be abundant. Meaning we have everything overflowing. John 10, 10. Can we put it there so that other people can see? Praise God. Thank you, Paul. Yeah. The thief or Satan comes only to steal and kill and destroy. How? If you are an unbeliever or if you know you, you have a very little faith, the devil will steal your blessing. Amen. The devil will give you sickness and diseases. Will destroy your life. But I have come that they may have life. And have it to the full. Full. When the glass is full, there's no more space. It's full. Meaning to say, 
Everything is covered. It's full. Our lives must be full. Sufficient. Abundant. Satisfying. Is your life satisfying? If not yet, use your faith, use your declaration. Keep claiming, keep claiming, keep declaring, praise God, until your life is full. Because that is God's will for your family, Amen. for your life, for your future. The fullness of God's blessing should be in your life. How is that? What's that? Happy, healthy, wealthy, and wise. You must be happy, healthy, wealthy, and smart, wise. That is the fullness of life. And God wants you to live like that. Full in every areas of your life. Nothing wanting, nothing lacking, the Bible says. Nothing wanting, nothing lacking. Life must be full. And that is God's will in your life. If you're not yet on that stage, God is still waiting for you. God said, come on, come on, come on, God said, come on. Let's fill your life, come on. Amen. Serve me, obey me, use your faith, and I will fill your life. With all the blessings. Pupunin kita. I will fill your life, every areas of your life. This is God's will. This is God's will. The reason why we cannot attain that is in Galatians chapter 3, verse 26 to 29. <clears throat> Up to 29. Thank you, Jesus. You are all sons of God through faith in Christ. It's not clear you're a son of God. You're a child of God. It's not clear now. You have the revelation now that you're a child of God. So when you pray tonight, when you go home, before you sleep, you pray tonight. And then tell the Father, Father, I'm sorry now I have the revelation that you are really, really, really my father and I'm really your child. Now, Lord, this is what I need. Ah, praise God. It's more God's word came tonight. Ask anything from the Lord. Amen? Amen. You are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For all of you who are baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, slave or free, male or female. You are all one in Christ. No distinction. Male or female, slave or free, Jew or Gentile. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. You are heir. According to the promise, what's the promise? The blessing of Abraham. What is the blessing of Abraham? Wealth, 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 and more wealth. Yes. Your heirs, you're entitled for the blessing of Abraham. You're entitled. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's child and heirs. Tagapagmana. Sang ayon sa pangako. Sang ayon sa pangako. According to the promise. The promise is yours. Let's go back to the promise. Para po Galatians 3.13. And 14. This is the promise the Holy Spirit is talking about. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. Where it is written, curse is everyone who is hanging on a tree. We've been redeemed from the law. From the curse of the law. What's that? Poverty, worry, sickness, and fear. We've been redeemed from poverty and sickness. He redeemed us for what? So that the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles Amen. through Jesus Christ. Amen. So that by faith, we might receive the promise. The blessing of Abraham 
is the promise of the Holy Spirit and we receive it by faith. The promise of the Holy Spirit. What's the blessing of Abraham? Wealth, 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 and more wealth and power. That's a blessing. Abraham was very, very, very rich. And God says, you are heir of that promise. That's yours. Wealth is yours. Riches is yours. Okay, tell yourself. Riches is mine. Riches is mine. I claim it. Amen. I believe it. Amen. In Jesus' name. So that's a promise of God for us to be wealthy, to be rich. Why? For us to serve as a blessing to the nations. God said that. I will bless your seeds, and through your seeds, the nations will be blessed. The nations will be, meaning to say, the people around you will be blessed. Anywhere you go, they will be blessed. Why? Because you are rich. You can bring them to Jollibee and McDonald's and then share the Word of God. It's very difficult to share the Word of God when you're giving nothing. Hello? But it's very easy to share the Word of God and, you know, for them to receive the Word of God if you bring them to McDonald's. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. 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 Why? Why must I want to bless you? Oh, you see? What do you like? Big burger, chicken wings, ice cream, apple pie. What else? What else? Yeah, give, 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 give them everything. While he's eating, Share salvation. Okay. If you don't receive Christ, you will pay that. <laughs> Amen. No, no, I'm just kidding you guys. Meaning to say, when you share Christ, because you bless them, they will easily say, this is true. This guy is so blessed. You know, he, he gave me everything. This is true. I will receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I want to experience the blessing He has. Amen. 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 I want to experience the blessing He has. Amen. This guy is so blessed. He treats everybody. I will receive Jesus as Lord and Savior to become like Him. If you eat with me in the restaurant, you will not pay anything. A story chair will pay. <laughs> no, I mean to say, whenever we eat in a restaurant with our friends or anybody, we always take the bill and pay for them. It's more blessed to give than to receive. This is our principle. I always, I always fight to get the bill first. It's mine. I'll pay it. Praise God. I'm going to show you how the blessing of Abraham is manifesting in my life. You're gonna pay your bill. Amen. Don't you notice? When you eat in the church, you don't pay anything. In other church, food is not free. You have to bring your own food. Right, Pastor Jenny? We, we've been in jail for seven years. We bring our own food. Every week. Here, you don't bring anything. You just bring an empty stomach. <laughs> and enjoy the food It's being served there. For free. And then you have a bonus when somebody is you know, celebrating a birthday, you still have a bonus, a cake or something. You don't pay anything here. Right? Everything is why? This church is blessed. Amen. Amen. This church is blessed. Amen. <clears throat> Go to your chairs. They're clothed with beautiful covers. Amen. Amen. We're like in Manila Hotel, you see? Look at the carpet. We're like in five star hotel. Do you see the ushers? <laughs> they look like ushers in five star hotels. Amen. Very pretty and handsome. Right? We need to show the glory of God, the blessing of God in our lives, in our church, and even in our families. 
ayaw kong nakikita kayo nakasuot ng maong na. Warak, warak! I don't want to see you wearing jeans. Broken jeans! Kalabas yung mga balat nyo. Why? It's a sign of poverty. Wear a brand new jeans. Praise God. Huh? No, it's not too so. It's really old. They just cut it. Kunyari uso. Don't have money to buy new one. Be decent. Look millionaire. Amen. 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 Then you will attract millions. Amen. If you look poor, you will attract poverty. Wherever you go. Amen. Like we said, right? Amen. It attracts grace and blessing. Amen. You go to a building wearing shorts. Ordinary shirt. A security guard will tell you, Hey, 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 where are you going? Uh, who are you? Out, out, out. You, you can never enter a building in Makati wearing those shorts. You go back to your car, dress up like this. You come back. Sir! Come in, sir! Where are you going, sir? Amen. Right, guys, Amen. You want coffee, sir, or tea? Starbucks. <laughs> Why? You project you are rich and powerful. You're a child of God. You need to project that you are really blessed and powerful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you. Don't ask the word magkano to. Never do that. Meaning you have no money. Magkano yan? No money. How much is this? No, no. Don't ask how much it is. You ask, what's the price? The difference. What's the price? They won't notice that you don't have money. But that's how it goes. You need to learn to change your vocabulary. I don't ask, how much is this? No, magkano yan? No, no, I don't do that. What's the price? Can you show me the price? But if you ask, Mukano to? Whoa! We are blessed people of God. We have the blessing of Abraham. You act like one. And you will attract wealth and riches and favor. A little bit later, you become a millionaire. Amen. When you walk like a millionaire, you become a millionaire. Amen. When you walk like a poor man, you become poor. Mm, this, these are wisdom. I'm teaching you this wisdom. Always declare you are a millionaire. Amen. Huh? Don't look at your pocket when you're declaring, praise God. Tarang na, bubulo na ang tuloy kayo. Oh, oh, I'm a million. Oh, oh. Excuse me. Say it with power. Amen. I'm a millionaire. Amen. Amen. Say it by faith. I'm a millionaire. Amen. Not by fear. It will manifest. I told you before, before I signed, I was kidding. Do you want my million dollar signature? Okay, I'm gonna give you my million dollar signature. And I'm, sign, I'm signing millions for contracts. Millions. It manifests. It manifests. It will manifest in your life. You'll be signing millions. Contracts, worth of contracts. Buy the millions now. Ang pirma natin ngayon. Kaya don't ask me to sign anybody. Si Ate Janila nakaas ang signature ko. Parang sa million dollar signature. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding you guys. Well anyway, praise God. You are a child of God. This is what I just want to emphasize. You are a child of God. Act like one. Amen. Be self-confident. Anywhere you go, huwag kayong lalakad na. Gula-gula nito ang damit nyo. Don't go anywhere na wearing rugs. Throw them away. 
Even if you have only three clothes, pastat, maganda, nice. Throw away your rugs. You're depicting your poor. Throw them away. Amen. Butas na sapatos, throw them away. Butas na may just fine. Because they won't see it. Socks with holes, fine. But shoes with holes, throw them away. They will see it. Underwear? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> you learned something tonight. Amen. 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 Praise God. You are a child of God. Amen. You enjoy the benefits of being a child of God. Amen. You act like one. You act like a rich man, a rich woman. And you'll become like one a little bit later. Amen? That's the secret. Amen? Amen. Come on, give Him praise. Let's pray. <laughs> Heavenly Father, in the name of Your Son, Jesus, we just want to thank You, Lord, for the message, for the wisdom from the Holy Spirit. Help us, Lord, to always remember that we are a child and a daughter of God and we have rights in heaven to ask the Father anything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. We love you, Father God. We love you, Lord Jesus, and we love you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Everybody say, Amen. Come on, give me praise. Do we have any visitor tonight? Did you bring any friend tonight?